man, it's the pod and I'm back. Hey man, like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff today. I have a special treat for you guys. Um, I think I'm getting more and more back into sneakers again. And I was thinking the other day, like, man, as far as Yeezys, I have every Yeezy that I want except for one. I have a really good collection now. When back in the day, I used to think that uh, that having Yeezys or you know acquiring Yeezys was like urban myth, and now you know the shoes are, are more available. It's still kind of hard to get for some people, but for someone like myself, I'm able to get them um, for retail now due to the apps and stuff. And, just technology making stuff a little bit easier and me not having to worry about fakes. It's one of the main things back in the day I used to be worried about is buying a pair of fakes and spending a lot of money on a pair of fakes from a reseller. But now I don't really have to worry about that as much because there's more of an abundance of pairs out there. So I'm gonna give you guys my top 10. I have a lot of Yeezys, but these are my top 10 that I care about. The top 10 that I would acquire. Some of them are for the reason why they're in this group is for nostalgic reasons or just how bad I wanted them when they came out or for certain situations back in the day. And I'm gonna get started. Like, I don't know all the names and stuff, and I didn't even look at the box. I just pulled out the shoes and stuff. But you got to look at the names. I'm just gonna show you guys my collection. And coming at number 10, um, in my mind, I think these are like the Oreo. 350 V2s. Um, when these came out for the first time, I, uh, it was a situation that I had at my house where uh, I kind of didn't pay attention to the raffle online on my app and I missed out on because I didn't know how to use the, the app the correct way and apply my points. Um, and this shoe, now um, I've acquired it this year and it's great. So. This is a very good and decent colorway. Uh, you can wear it with almost anything. I haven't worn these yet, but I'm definitely gonna have these in my rotation at some point in the future. And if I don't, I have them. Now, you know, redemption. This is the delayed win. A delayed win, it's not an L. I thought it was an L, but it turned out to be a delayed win. I'm happy with it, I got these for retail. Number two, uh, these are kind of like the infrared version, and I got these around the same time that I, I got the ones that are number 10, and this is the number nine shoe in my list. Uh, I call them the infrared V2s. This has got this infrared uh, stripe on the side, and nothing super special about it, um, other than, you know, it being nostalgic for me. It's kind of the same thing around the time, too. Like, I had a bunch of points. Back in the day when these came out, I think these started coming out again in like 2017. And um, I wasn't able to get them because I didn't know how to use the app. I had the points and I probably would have won, but it is what it is. I have them now. Number eight, number eight in my list. Uh, I call these uh, <laughs> the Orlando Magic Yeezys. I don't know the real name of them. But it's basically a blue streak on the side. Now all of these, these last three pairs I showed you are basically almost the same shoe, but they're a little bit different. All of these shoes can basically, you know, almost give you the same aesthetic with an outfit. But um, these just came out from, to my knowledge, this year for the first time in this colorway. And it is a pretty good colorway, man. You can do a lot with it. And I was lucky enough to hit for retail on the app for these. Number six, the Belugas. This is the second release that I know of. Um, that I think it was this year when they came out again. I have not worn these yet. Um, same kind of thing that happened with the app. At first, I had the points back in the day, but I didn't know how to use the app to apply the points, and I ended up losing out on them. But I have them now. The late win, baby. The Belugas. Now, if you know me, you know that the Zebra, for the longest, was my favorite Yeezy. I, I totally thought these were totally up to unobtainable at some point. And um, I was tempted to spend a whole lot of money on these when they came out. I'm glad I did not. Because um, back in the day, these were like going up for upwards of like 2,800 bucks or something for a pair of these. And they ended up coming out, I ended up getting three pairs. Um, and this is a pair, this is the only pair that I wear and I beat to the ground. I got them clean, but I still love them to death. Um, it's a very, very comfortable shoe, and 
I just thought the colorway of this was just so neat from the, the zebra striping to them actually having the balls to put red lettering on the side. You know, um, and the supply, the, the spelling is backwards on this shoe. Oh, this, is it like an alarm level? Yeah. Yeah, um, the spelling is backwards on this shoe. This shoe comes in at number five, the Zebra 350V2. The last shoe was number six, if I was, if I was wrong. This is my number five shoe. This is the very first Yeezy um, that I ever acquired and won. I really, like, until I actually saw this pair in hand, I really never thought I would ever get a pair of Yeezys. And I was happy for the longest that I received these and I was able to purchase these. Even though at the time I thought it was a boring colorway because it was all black and red, but this shoe ended up being one of the most sought after shoes in the Yeezy Adidas collection. And the resale value is a whole lot. I was able to get them from retail, which is a great thing. Um, yeah, the Yeezy Bread, well, I guess they call Bread, Yeezy Bread 350 V2. Um, man, I wore these a lot when I first got them. Richard. I don't have too much to say, but this is the first Yeezy that I ever was able to purchase right here. Now guys, we're getting into the shoes that I care about the most out of my Yeezy collection, the, the shoes that um, um, I'm really impressed that I have. You know, if you're a Yeezy collector, these shoes may be nothing to you. Um, but for me, these are my favorite pair of sneakers from the Yeezy collection, and these are the ones that I wanted the most, and it's crazy that I actually was able to purchase these. And number four is Yeezy 700 Wave Runner. Overall, guys, as far as the aesthetic and color blocking of all the Yeezys that I've seen, this is the best one by far. This is just one of those shoes where you're like, man, this is just a really, really good shoe. Um, and I was able, I think I won this on the Yeezy Supply app, and I was really, like, I was really surprised that I was able to get this online for retail. Um, I mean, it had some crease in it because when I first got these, I warm a lot, I warm to the gym, I got them dirty. But this is just a great shoe. Of all the shoes that Kanye West and Adidas has come out with, this is probably the best sneaker that he has made, in my opinion. You guys may have something totally different, but I just think this shoe is the most wearable sneaker, um, period, as far as like outfits and stuff are concerned. You can wear this with damn near anything. And the color blocking, where they place the colors, where they place the layering at, um, the materials in different spots, like like this little part right here, it's like suede, you know, like, and it's leather right here. It's just a good mix of everything. Mesh, it's a thin mesh on the side and a thick mesh. I mean, this shoe, it's a lot going on with this shoe. Orange bubbles right here, color bubbles. I mean, this is just great. It has boost in it as well. This is a great sneaker. So that is my number four sneaker. The Adidas Wave Runner 700. Coming in at number three. I think this is a 750, y'all. I'm old. This is a 750. I got these from Flight Club. Um, I think this is probably the second pair of Yeezys that I got. Um, I just wanted these to have these, man. I didn't. I just wanted these to have these, to be honest. I, I really liked the way it was made, and I was like, man, I'm gonna get these shoes. I'm not gonna wear them that much. I probably wore them to a Kanye West concert. I wore them a couple of times. I can probably count on one hand how many times I've worn them. But this is still a great shoe. It's innovative, it's different. The strap right here is pretty cool, and they're really, really comfortable, man. Um, but you have to know how to dress to wear these. You can't just throw these on with any old thing and expect for it to work. Um, people told me it was a basketball shoe. I'm like, man, there's no way I'm hooping in these, but this is just a cool shoe to have. It looks like a designer shoe. I think, from what I know, um, Kanye West got his inspiration on the shoe from the Mason Margiela high top. And it kind of resembles that a little bit, but guys, this is an amazing shoe, man. This bottom glows in the dark. So, yeah, man. Good shoe to have in my collection. It's more of a collection piece more than something that I'm gonna wear, but this is great trade bait, and it's just a great shoe to have in your collection. All right, man, coming in at number two, boom! The first Adidas Yeezy to ever be released 
to my knowledge, is the Adidas 350 Turtle Dove. I remember so much hype around this shoe. Um, so many fakes and stuff out there. I thought my sneaker plug was gonna be able to give me a pair of these when they released, but they weren't. Um, years later, which I just got these this year, um, I was able to purchase these on Flight Club for a decent price, and then guess what happened? They announced two or three weeks later they're gonna come back out and they came back out already. I could have waited and saved a lot of money if I would have just waited. But I'm cool with having an original release. I'm cool with having this sneaker the way it is and how I received it. Um, but this is was one of my grills and sneakers and I have it. So the Adidas 350 Turtle Dove. Now, the number one sneaker in my collection, drum roll. I think these are called the Zen, the Nike Yeezy Zen. I think that's the right colorway. If I'm wrong, who, who cares? Um, Y'all yeah, can just bash me in the comments. But this is the great colorway of the Nike Yeezy. I was able to get these on Flight Club used for a very, 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 very original price. If you guys go on Flight Club right now and look at the prices for a size 12, um, I did not pay that price. Any of the prices close to that. I got really, really lucky on these. And one thing that's really great is the person wore these before me. So, you know, most shoes that are really old, if they haven't been worn, they crumble. But I kind of wanted to get a used pair because once you wear them a little bit, the sole and all that stuff gets worn in and the adhesive sticks so where it doesn't crumble and start falling apart. And this person wore these pretty much um, a lot. And I can kind of tell, but he took really good care of them. Um, and I'm thankful for it, man. Sometimes the sneaker guys just come through for you. You know, so um, I was able to get these for a really, really, really good price. If I told you how much I paid for them, you probably wouldn't believe me. But I was lucky, and the sneaker guys were looking out for me that day. And I had these, and this is the holy grail of all the shoes that I have as far as Yeezys. Officer, and I am very, very happy to have these in my collection. I'm going to take care of these and keep these for a long time. Probably not going to ever resell these. I'm going to keep these forever. But guys, this is my Yeezy Sleep Collection. Just want to do a quick um, collection video, man, for you guys. I know a lot of you guys that follow my channel are in the fashion, in the sneakers and stuff. So I wanted to do that and give you guys a treat. A lot of you guys ask me in the live streams and stuff about my collection of cars and stuff. I'll just gradually get to certain things when I feel like it. But guys, anyway, hey man, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, share this with a friend, go to the Patreon if you want to. I'm gonna start uploading content there soon. And remember, you are the flyest motherfucker on planet Earth. I'll see you guys later.